Hello and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I wanted to do something different something fun so I got this email it just gives me a free code to access a product on blender market let's just take a look at the page this looks promising looks like a pretty nice add-on the shaders are pretty good for example the bears is really nice so and these test renders also look pretty great so there's much to love here let's take a look I'm not really a fan of these AI images like come on it's a small image just uh just make it it's uploaded four days ago uh today's date is the 20th of may so uh the 16th of may it, it would have been uh, uploaded for blender version 4.1 but yeah let's just uh, hit purchase and now it's free amazing nice that was easy all right just download it and hop on into blender here in blender just delete the default cube while we're here uh, edit preferences add-ons install and just install it here. Let's just enable this. It took a long time to enable, but uh, that's fine. So in my M panel, I now have this uh, liquid feel add-on with a nice icon. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. Geometry shading recipients. Please select an object that has one mesh island. All right, so just going to model a really simple uh, cup. It would be cool if they had like uh, an asset pack of cups and things like that. So let's fill active and see what it, this does that's promising it's really laggy though uh, so i guess this is like geometry node based let's see the open shape shape opening shape straight or irregular uh, liquid amount that's nice 100 is full you can seal the container height recipient height liquid all right uh you can apply it just makes it geometry uh, we don't want to do that i want to go over to shading uh, to liquid shade active and they have these shaders here. Oh, they have quite a lot, which is really cool. Let's make a red fruit smoothie. Ooh. This looks pretty great. It's a bit heavy though, I, I, I think. I'm not sure about that. So we can hide the recipient for now. It's good, it's good, it looks great. I don't see the foam. Is that because of my foam amount? Why is that? All right, so we need a whole lot of foam amount in order for that to appear it might also be because uh my glass is like massive in real world, world scale so let's just make that uh more realistic let's see mm, a glass should be uh no larger than about 15 centimeters i guess oh yeah that looks a lot better so it's a real world world scale which uh makes sense i'm actually a fan of uh so that was my fault so foam mount to one still is not a lot so we need a little bit more yeah that looks massively better um i also saw shading to recipient shade active do they have glass here oh they have some nice oh some some plastic green bottle for beer that's really nice i really like that yeah that's great uber glass not sure what that means but that's a better glass shader than i had yeah, definitely. Yeah, they did put a lot of effort into this, which is really great. It feels really responsive. So when I click something like this, like an energy drink, it updates. I don't have to like apply anything. And this one is really, really heavy. I have a 3060, by the way, uh, and a, a pretty decent GPU. So I have a mid-range PC nowadays. Yeah, this is really lagging, as you can probably tell. But it does re look really great, though. With these bubbles and everything and that's a trade-off you might have to think about you can make it carbonated foam let's do a bear let's make a bear they have a lot of options though which i'm really happy about i wasn't expecting much but uh they really delivered so foam mount to five let's make a nice bear that's too much foam a nice full glass of bear what would make this even better is if they had like uh water droplets droplets on the side and i hope that's under this recipients tab uh, oh oh this is what i was talking about pre-made assets okay, so i take it back they do have that which is amazing so let's just uh add some of these like a bordeaux wine glass that's great let's put some uh some nice water in here and yeah, nice carbonated water that's what we drink on this channel some nice blue lagoon what's that looks like a jug jug okay slurp juice this water looks really great carbonated you can make it carbonated oh that's really nice it's really nice mm. 
yeah, okay. Uh, I don't have much else to say about this, I, I think. There are some nice... Yeah, it's just a really nice add-on. Uh, oh, let's rotate it. Let's see how that works. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. It's really slow though, so it's really heavy on your PC. So if you have a laptop or something, or a low-end PC, I wouldn't recommend this, because it's really heavy for me as well. But if you're going to have like a close-up shot of one or two glasses, this will be perfect. It's so realistic. Uh, let's see, does this work in Eevee? Hmm, it does not seem like it does uh, work in Eevee, which is a shame. That would make it a lot less heavy. So yeah, that's that's a shame. Uh, maybe for next time, for next update, because this is version uh, 1. Alright, so let's just switch back to Cycles. And I guess just make a nice render with this. Oh, yeah, it's really laggy. In in solid mode, it's not laggy at all. So it is the shader, I think. And the geometry node as well. It doesn't really help uh, as well in the solid mode. But if you just leave it static, it, it's really performative. So uh, there's probably something with like a recursive um, like simulation nodes going on in the geometry editor, which is really heavy. Um, and I can live with that if it's fast in the render. But the shader seems really, really slow as well. But it's a good, it's a good shader. I cannot lie, it's a good shader. So I'm not really good at these uh, like uh, really clean renders. So yeah, that's this is not really a job for me. You might want to ask someone else. But uh, let's see what I can do with this. It does react really nice to light, as you can see right here. Uh, the color is really nice. So yeah, it's, it's really realistic in its rendering. Uh, I'm not so sure about the geometry, because if we just rotate this a little bit... Uh, oh, it's not really visible with this one. Oh yeah, here. Like, things like this. It's really obvious, it's pretty low poly. If we go into render mode, I don't think that's... Yeah, it is, it is a pretty big problem uh, in certain angles. As you can see, the color also changes, which is not what I would expect. That might be a thing for a future update. Also, the volume isn't kept when rotating it. It kind of looks like it has a cutoff point where it needs to be. Uh, so yeah, now there's less liquid in than if I were to have it right here. So that's a bit odd. But yeah, overall, uh, that's my opinion about this add-on. I, I, I think it's a good add-on. There's some things that could be improved, but then again, it's only version 1, 1 1.0. So um, as for the price, do I think it's worth 28 bucks? As someone who knows how much effort goes into these things, yeah, I think 28 bucks is a pretty reasonable price, especially for someone that does a product visualization or some of these like a realistic rendering that's going on here. I think it's a really great add-on to have in your toolkit. Uh, but for me personally, for 3D environment art and things like that, uh, I don't think so. Not for me personally, but I can see the appeal. The shaders are amazing. They have uh, everything I could ask for. It looks pretty realistic. Uh, performance is someone that could be, uh, could be improved. But yeah, other than that, I do recommend this add-on. So go give it a try if you want. If you like this, uh, we'll do more of this. I have more uh, more emails in my inbox and they keep coming. So please leave a comment and a like so I know that you enjoyed this. And we'll do another one of these. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.